I am a big advocate of getting training if, if you are going to own a firearm. I think the best training available at any price anywhere in the world is at Front Sight Firearms Training Academy. They have three locations, one in Florida, one in Alaska, and their main location is about an hour outside of Las Vegas in Nevada. I've been there three times. Each of my family members have a Diamond Lifetime family membership. They sell for thousands of dollars. We we're able to get ours at a dramatically reduced discount and we take advantage of our membership there. More on that membership uh, later, but we did buy some extra ones and uh, we do have them available if people want to save thousands of dollars on their membership and get the best training available. When my son, Ben, earned his Eagle Boy Scout Award, I told him we would go on a trip. Seven years later, I took him on his Eagle Rank trip, and that was to Front Sight, Nevada, and we had an absolutely awesome time. So I'm going to take you through the four days of training, one extra day on hotels and food and so forth, and what, what is and is not available in Pahrump. Also getting firearms through the TSA at the airport and so forth. But today, I just want to take a few minutes and go through some pictures I have. They do not allow any videotaping at Front Sight, so I'm going to share some photos that we have from Front Sight, and I think what you'll experience here will be very beneficial to you. The training is absolutely incredible. So let's go ahead and take a look at our experience at Front Sight. The instructors there are absolutely phenomenal. They really know their information and they're very good at sharing it with you. Uh, we had a great team and we've had, always had a great team of instructors on the range and they do a great job. Thank you very much Front Sight for hiring top quality people, uh, real people that have personalities. They're not military drill sergeant personalities. They're fun and they're enjoyable. They're personable. I got a lot of help by asking personal questions and made a big difference in how comfortable and accurate and smooth and fast I am in presenting and firing my firearms. Anyway, the reason why the Firearms Training Academy is called Front Sight because that is a very big part of having accuracy and speed in controlling your firearm is using the front sight. So the very first thing they talk to us about is uh, how to use the front sight. They explain different kinds of sights. This happens to be uh, an example of iron sights and what it would look like on the target and how you get things lined up. They went through scopes, they went through red dots, they went through uh, all different kinds of sights and scopes and showed you how to use what you have on your weapon. Another big part of accuracy and gun control is trigger control. So they spend a lot of time on how to handle the rifle, how to hold your trigger, and how to use it. After we spent uh, some time going over those fundamentals, we get out on the range. They have a great way that they set this up. There's like uh, 20 or so different uh, targets out there and we use team instruction where half of the people on the course are on the line and the other half are behind them watching them helping them. So you really learn by doing and you learn by helping others. It's a great method. This is my son Ben and first time he's up on the line. Here you can see we have some members back here who are standing by and, and helping out the individual uh, shooters in front of them. I'm behind my son so I'm not in that frame. And here's another shot of using the team teaching method. Great method. One thing they do is they teach you how to stand. Uh, there are different ways that people teach how to shoot. I've gone through several of them, maybe all of them. And by far, the one that works best for me and makes the most amount of sense is the stance that they teach you at Front Sight. They also teach you how to hold your head, not to bring your head down to the sights, but to bring your rifle up to your, to your, your eyesight lots of really details that make a big difference. Here I am, I've got my AR-15, I've got a scope and, and red dot uh, situation on there. And I really like to thank the, again the instructors there. I was using the red dot for uh, quick acquisition, close encounter type situations and then I was going to use the scope for uh, distance. You're shooting out to 400 yards on this course and I wanted to have some magnification. 
but I also wanted, didn't want to be over magnified for up close. I got some really good advice from one of the instructors and said, why don't you just pick one or the other and just get really good at that. I took his advice, made all the difference in the world. Just a comment here and there, a tap on the shoulder and a suggestion from these awesome instructors can dramatically improve everything you do with your firearm. After shooting a lot of rounds and getting some great training, it was time for lunch on the first day and we had a very special treat. They actually had an Uzi M16 range open. They had several different kinds of fully automatic uh, submachine guns and Uzis and M16s and so forth. Uh, my, my son shot one of his very favorite guns. He never thought he'd be able to shoot and uh, they made it very affordable to do so. We just paid for the ammo for the gun. So during lunch we went out and shot some fully automatic rifles which were awesome. Here's my son with the instructor out on the uh, submachine gun, fully automatic range uh, at lunchtime, having a great time. He just absolutely loved it. Here I am with a fully automatic M16. Just wanted to give that a try. After trying the M16 and the compact or subcompact or mini Uzi, I realized there really is not a lot of advantage to being fully automatic. You, you lose a lot of control. That being said, we did actually did pretty well. I think with the Uzi, it took me about three seconds or less to empty an entire magazine of 30 rounds. But I got most of them on target. It was a blast. If you have the opportunity to do that when you go to a front site, I'd highly recommend it. Lunchtime is not downtime, it's class time. They use every minute at front site very well. They have several different kind of videos and excellent training during lunch. So you can eat lunch and learn at the same time. Now, the first day we ordered a box lunch from the hotel that we stayed at. It was awesome. It was way more than we could eat and very happy with that box lunch. More information on that on the fifth day of this video series on front, our front site experience. As I mentioned, this is my third time to front site. We have many more times to go. Uh, but this is my also third time I've sat through this presentation on the color code of mental awareness and combat mindset. It has changed our family's life. We no longer walk around unaware what's going on around us. We try to always keep in the right color so we're aware of what's going on in our environment so we are not making ourselves victims. I don't want to go into a lot of detail here. It's a great course. I don't want to miss anything. But this here, probably by itself, is worth the price of membership to Front Sight. Even if you never pulled the trigger, this training right here can literally save your life. Outstanding information on this one presentation. And there are many of them throughout the week. All of the presenters are well-trained, well-versed. Uh, I believe this gentleman is, uh, used to be a California police officer. As he said, he climbed underneath the fence and escaped, and now he lives in Nevada and is an instructor for Front Sight. Just published a book, kind of the behind the scenes of Front Sight. Um, awesome gentleman, uh, really knows this stuff. More than uh, approachable, you're welcome to ask him any questions. They have question and answer period after all the presentations. Great instruction through these instructors here. These are just uh, a few of the highlights of this particular presentation very important information to apply to your daily life. They not only have male instructors but they also have great female instructors. This instructor was absolutely awesome. She was gave me great personal attention and advice during the whole week. Made some significant changes in what I was doing. I thought I was pretty good. I'm substantially better simply by uh, a recommendation and a comment here and there. Here after we came back from lunch they talked to us about how to manage malfunctions, which is very important to know. But what was really great is that they don't just go over one type of firearm. There are diff several different kinds of firearms there while we were at this training. There were bolt actions. There were, of course, several AR-15s. majority of them were AR-15s. There were hunting rifles. There were AK-47s. And they took the time to go through every different platform and show you how to clear a malfunction, how to hold that particular platform, just everything that you need to know about the, the weapon that you brought. They didn't exclude anybody. They really help you understand how to maximize the platform that you have. So here we are talking about 
the different malfunctions and what to do, the process, and um, it's different. They teach a different method here than I've been taught at other places. Here you can see she's got a bolt action here. Uh, as always, we're very, very happy with the instruction that we received there. After a few more hours of training and shooting on the firing range, we were done for the day. I tell you, we went in January and it was the first day bitter cold. I was, of course, brought several layers of clothing, was very happy, I was quite comfortable. There were others that were quite cold. But as the week went on, by the end of the week it was short sleeve weather. It was awesome. So we had one day of really cold weather. It was mainly due to the wind, but other than that, we had a great time. I wouldn't hesitate going again. Uh, we've been there in December, we've been there in January, and we've been there in like July. Just dress appropriately, look at the weather forecast, and you'll be fine. After lots of training and lots of shooting, it was the end of the day, and I tell you what, the, the first day you start out pretty early. I think we get there at 6.30 in the morning, and you, you're tired, you're ready to go home at night and relax. So, great day of training. We talked, of course, about everything we learned during the day on the way back to the restaurant and, and where we went to get some dinner that night. Our, our confidence level had really gone up dramatically with our platforms because of the uh, one day of training there. We went on a four-day training course. Others were there on a two-day. Highly recommend the four-day if you can go. So that wraps up the first day of our experience at the Front Sight Firearm Training Academy on our Practical Rifle Day 1 course. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. And if you own a firearm, you need to get training so you're proficient, competent, and safe with that firearm. Tomorrow I'll have the update for the day number two.